<laughs> I will judge you quietly. Apparently, Leos judge people. <laughs> Are you really a Leo? August, yeah. Figures. Hello, one and all. Thank you for joining us for Table Talk. My name's Joe Beretta. My name's Sam Basher. I'm Elliot Morgan. This is the show where you guys give us topics on the Twitters and the Reddits, and the, these little graphics came up to tell you where to go if you want to do this in the future, and then we pull them out of this bowl and we talk about them. We always explain what the frick the show is at the top of every freaking show. Why do we do it? Why do we do it? Let's jump in. Okay. How is your day going? Is it good? I hope so. Did you get that uh, that Why thing do we, figured out? Do we is it do we say what it is because the title's in it because we don't know what to say to start a show? Like it, it would be weird if you're like welcome to tabletop. It would be like I think I've done that before. Class. I think I've done that before. I think it's a branding thing. Yeah. Is it it's a brand is it SEO? Is it third something like that? Is it third gen gen opera? Is it start, start Did you know that the things that come out of your mouth while you're talking on the show are actually searchable? For the NSA? Dude, you always yeah. get so political, bro. I know. You always like get over. They're watching like, us, geez, man. It's all like, the time. Like living with anonymous over here. Government shutdown. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, <laughs> government shutdown. This is no contributing to whatever's happening. Topical. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, good reference. <laughs> thank I'm for, Sam. Thank you for keeping us connected. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah, I'm really oh. ready. This this one will be. Uh, I expect you to to bring a lot to the table. On this one, are you ready? We're at a table, huh? We're at a table, guys. Pressure. We didn't, we didn't plan that. Yeah. Just it's crazy. All right, what <laughs> we got? All right. Christina Marie at SourceFed uh, underscore SourceFed nerd underscore fangirl. Hey. One song that never gets old, no matter how often you listen to it. Mine is Somebody to Love by Queen. Hashtag Table Talk. Yeah, Somebody to Love by Queen is an amazing song. It's yeah. really good. Song? All Queen. Crap. I can listen to Queen every single day of my entire can being. I have to be in a certain uh, mood to listen to Queen, but when I'm in that mm. mood, man, I feel so cool because I'm like, I'm like yeah, uh, I'm listening yeah. to Queen. Fun fact about the fun facts of Queen and fun <laughs> facts of people that work here at SourceFed. You guys all know that Steve Zaragoza is a great singer. When he does it here, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. He can harmonize with Lee, blah, blah, blah. Bad, he's bad. really good. Like, he's legitimately a good singer. I was watching The Voice last night with my wife, and uh, I go, Steve should do this show. And Steve could legitimately walk on that show and I think turn some chairs. Uh, that being said. <laughs> You're like using the lingo for the show. Yeah. Yeah. You walk on, maybe for yeah. turn, turn some, some chairs, chairs, bro. Voice. You know, maybe get Adam Levine to smile. I don't know. Uh, he's an amazing karaoke singer. And one of the songs that he I've seen him do before is Somebody to Love, mm -hmm. and he smashes it. It's so much fun to watch. That'd be great. Do it. Last time we were doing karaoke, Steve went out and did karaoke, and of course, like tore it up. People were coming up to him afterward, giving them uh, his their cards. Women what? were crying. Babies were getting kissed. Yep, it was amazing. For a moment, like you couldn't feel it, but you may have it felt like a, a like a peaceful moment. That's what happens when Steve sings. There's a temporary, there's just moments of world peace that happen. It's too bad he's such a horrible no person. I know, right? He's the worst. Talk about branding yourself in a completely opposite way than you actually yeah. are. He's it's really inside. sad. It, it, yeah. It, it, it's yeah. like, it's, yeah, I would say like he's dark, but I think you explained it better. It's just that it's like nothingness. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's devoid of light and it's yeah. devoid of not You know light. those it's things in Game of Thrones? That's Steve on the inside. Those, Steve was those, born like he's, he's like, a white he, walker. He's a, he's a shadow demon from a, a dark woman's vagina. Yeah. What? I don't watch the show. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, uh, unfortunately, do. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. We gotta talk wait, about wait, wait, Mine right now, There's. I go through several. Oh, man. Are we about to talk I've about been, your crush? I've been bumping Lana Del Rey. <laughs> Figuratively speaking, Pretty for good. a while now, like two days, I'm going, going crazy with her. I think I'm in love, uh, which is an inconvenience given my marital status. Mm -hmm. But I think my wife's going to be okay with it because I was like, babe, you got to listen to Lana Del Rey. If and I, I, know she's not, I know she's been around, but I just recently discovered her voice with one word, sex. Yeah. It just exudes yeah. this pouring. sexy. And yeah. it's just, she'll go from, oh, she's so good. So any, basically, any Lana Del Rey song, period. But in general, I still listen to that Pink Fun song. That, just give me a reason. Just, mm -hmm. that, uh, yeah, that's, that's a good really good one. That's one right now. Yeah. 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 Same, what you got? Fix You by Coldplay. I can listen to that Fix every single okay. time. Right. I can listen to that forever. And like even, like, I go, like, looking for covers mm -hmm. of it, like uh, oh, acapella yeah. or orchestral or anything like that. I could listen to it forever. But right now, do you know Avicii? That song, Wake Me Up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one, yeah. he came out with an album, it's so... Ooh. Is that how you say that? I think so. Avicii? 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 Um, I was wondering. I, was I Spotify. think Coldplay has a lot of those songs. Yeah. yeah. Coldplay just has a band in general. A lot of people find him like very vanilla, which I think is incredibly wrong, because mm -hmm. they're incredibly talented. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, 
Yellow, I can listen to all the time. Trouble, I can listen to all the time. The um, Coldplay yeah. and, and Muse are the only two bands that I've watched concerts on TV for. Like, really? Or, like, sat on a computer and watched oh, video yeah. after video. I've video. done that with Foo Fighters once. Yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. probably a good one, too. They're, mm -hmm. good, they're good live. They're an amazing live. What do you uh, have? I always go to my stock answer, and it, it's... It's 100% truth. It's not a joke. My favorite song ever is Careless Whisper yeah. by Wham slash George Michael. It's not a joke. And it's just because I heard that sax riff and if when you don't I was know a kid. what that means, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I heard <laughs> no. that, that sax riff when I was a, a, a child, a young child, like five or six in a car, and it was all the only memory I have is it was late at night. It was, it's not a vivid memory. It's one of those like flashbacks mm -hmm, that you mm -hmm, get. Mm -hmm. And I just remember being on uh, a dark highway in the... Uh, the light poles just going by oh, and seeing, cool. and seeing the lines cool. on the road. And all I remember was that din, 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 din. it was like the soundtrack awesome. of that moment, which was just, it was very, uh, uh, it was almost like a mythical when moment. When you die, you're going to yeah. you're gonna experience that again. But what, what happened is that I didn't know what the frick that song was for a good 10 years. And then it clicked. Yeah. And it was always, it. and then I heard, oh, that's my song! The song gets made fun of. It's a beautiful song. Yeah, like, it's really good. Legitimately. Um, uh, George Michael's a uh, hell of an artist. All right, let's see what we got here. We got Steve Head. Big kisser. Per the huge. Um, okay, so P as in pterodactyl. I love that username, bro. I love that. That's fantastic. Have you ever witnessed a crime? <laughs> uh, P as in pterodactyl just committed one, and he wants to make sure that like he's cool. Like, yeah. Witnessing is different than participating in, but if participating in is count counted as witnessing, yes, I have witnessed a number of crimes. Yeah, oh, yeah. I did a lot of dumb, just like I've witnessed illegal things, yeah, which are crimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, guess. I mean, I mean, when you're eight, younger than eighteen. And yet, you just are sure. you trying to have things, fun you know? from like the ages of 15 to 18 where you're with your friends and you, there's really no consequences if your things aren't that illegal. So you do, you you do a, yeah. And then as soon as so you, you turn 18, you, you stop doing those things. That's real shady, whatever you're talking yeah, about. Really, like, he's going to be like, so uh, money That's laundering. Really yeah. bad <laughs> advice that I'm giving there. It's some, we did some black market trading. Oh. Um, it was just little no. kid stuff, not a big deal. I'm pretty sure I almost committed manslaughter like 700 times with a three-man water balloon launcher. They ended up dead, but you can't <laughs> prove that it was from the water balloon launcher. What, uh, what was the worst one you, you witnessed? I don't, I mean, we might have to go to somebody else. I can't think of a crime that I've, I've seen a hit and run. So I hit and run. Uh, like, uh. I've been hit and ran. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you just had a stroke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've been hit and ran. It happened. It's it was like coming a back. couple months ago in L.A. I, I saw this. It was just right on the side of the road. Some guy was parked here. And this other guy drove by. And he's like, oh, I got a parking space. Goes up and then just starts reversing too fast and just goes, honk, 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 bonk. Guy looks out his window that gets hit and goes, whoa. Guy opens the door, looks behind him and goes, oh. <laughs> just awesome. drops off. The other guy didn't even know how to react. That I'm sitting there on the sidewalk going, <laughs> 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 ah, by Let's myself, and the guy just looks out his window and he goes, I do, uh, "What do I?" <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the, <laughs> he did the fist thing. That's the kind of moment where you want like you want to blast like Randy Newman's "I Love L.A." <laughs> yeah. As he drives, "I Love L.A." <laughs> like, yeah, but that's about it. Remembering why I don't think I've ever seen town. anything significant, unless you count like you've seen people getting fights yeah. and stuff. And if you were to commit a crime, what crime would it be? Since on the because I've never seen an actual crime, but there's been moments in passing where I've been like, "Yeah." So like for me, and I think this is bad. But there's so many times I've been like, man, if I had enough money and if I had a spare car and I was crazy, I would rear end that person just, oh, yeah, yeah. just to piss them mm -hmm. off. Just to not teach them a back. lesson. Yeah, just to be like, oh, <laughs> guess who, who's not in a hurry anymore? You're now inconvenienced horribly. Welcome to car justice. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys have really bad road rage? Yeah, nope. pretty, it's gotten better uh, since living in LA. Ironically, I've I've, I've sort of been tamed a little bit. Like, I get a little vengeful. Like, I mean, that's when I want to hit somebody because like if someone like cuts me off, I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, and then I go and follow them for like <laughs> past my exit, and I'll just like get, like real close behind him, then I'll get off and go home. But I'm just yep. like. If I see somebody swerving, do I don't get angry because <laughs> it's not worth my time to get angry in traffic here in LA because we're in it so much that it's just it. I, I made the choice a long time ago when mm -hmm. we moved here that I will never honk in anger in mm -hmm. LA, and I still haven't because your horn is used to warn people of danger. So when people honk in LA, I feel like I'm about to die. In Florida, it's used to let people know that the light has turned green because <laughs> everybody just sits there. Uh, so, but I don't get mad, but I do do that too. Mm. I do, I do car justice. Mm. Like if I see some dickhead just swerving, swerving through traffic, yep. and you and I will do this when we carpool, vroom, vroom, just going. We'll just speed up and make sure that he cannot yep. like just get block into whatever lane. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> bro. Were you going somewhere? Oh, yeah. 
Oh man, yeah. that's so not mature at all. <laughs> <laughs> what a horrible thing to do. Have all you right. witnessed a crime? Like no. an actual uh, crime? I'm crime? trying to think of like anything at all. And I'm like, I saw some kids TPing. I no, I've never seen like anything serious. I've never seen yeah. anyone like hit a car. I've been hit. I've hit. I, mean, I can't think of anything though. Imagine have, how many things that you've passed in your life that like were crimes being committed I at know. the time, and you didn't even know. Like some guys just starting to burn down a house or something. <laughs> you just never realized it. <laughs> He's like helping out the gas people. Gas can into that house. That's not good. He looks hungry. <laughs> Jesse Pinkman? No. Okay. Great. I've always wanted to drive by somebody's car and see a bag of money. Or just any large amount, large quantity of bills. I would love when that. When you say bag of money, do you mean like a cartoon bag Has, of money yeah. with the dollars? Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> and there, it's just piled in a perfect pyramid in somebody's front seat, and uh, they're wearing one right. singular black mask around <laughs> their face. All right, what's what's next on this? Yeah, bring it on home. We haven't. We've lived pretty home. privileged yeah. lives. We're like, oh no, we uh, commit the crimes. Professor Cephalode. Cephalopod. Cephalopod. Words. Cephalopod. Like Cephalopod. Like Cephalopod. That was painful. What was the nerdiest <laughs> thing you have ever done? The nerdiest thing that I have ever done. Uh, Man, when I was a kid, I used to make masks, like superhero <laughs> masks, but I made them out of paper and I wrapped them around my head. Dude, and that's around. pretty cool. I know. I was awesome, man. I had some really cool ones. They were always nondescript superheroes because if you tried making it based on previously established IP, you couldn't really do it and it would look ridiculous. That's but pretty I, good. I came up with my own superheroes. And it was in this house that I lived in that I still think was haunted, but it was like this four, like, nasty Florida house that, like, there was, like, a wine cellar, and the bottom of it was underground, and it was, like, my lair, and I went down there by myself, and I constructed all of these masks, and I put them on the walls like a creepy little nerd. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I did not know that I was sitting here at Table Talk with Meg Turney because we got ourselves a cosplayer. Yep. Whoops. I knew that I was walking into that joke. <laughs> <laughs> And I hate, I hate I you. I love so your poster. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, well, that, actually, real quick, that reminds me of uh, when I, my friend uh, John Payne, who you know. Yeah. Uh, John, one, helped me uh, make my poster. He shot it and helped Photoshop it along with Darren. Uh, very talented artist, and he's been talented. Crazy talented. At art since he was a child. And one of the things that we used to do is he would get pieces of cardboard, and he would draw intricate guns and weapons. I'm not talking just like the shape of a gun. Mm. He would draw like, like me- the, the mechanisms. Like screws and, in yes, it. Yes, the that. little if, ands, or buts of That's the gun. Cool. And uh, we'd come <laughs> out and have, uh, if, and have these gun them. battles. And then like he would, he evolved as he as he was growing older. So the guns would go from t- 2D to like he'd build like 3D models of these things. And it was That's super so cool. fun. Check out his, uh, just search uh, John Payne Art. You can check out his blogs. He's got I some really cool stuff. And then you go, but man, God, he's a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> and he is a nerd. He's a super yeah. nerd. Um, but as far as like the nerdy things that I've done, uh, I, I, I'm just going to go stock nerdy. What is the nerdiest things that I have done in my life? I have attended Comic-Con. That was super nerdy, and I wore my Kroll costume there. That was fun. That's pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't know I was sitting next to Ma- uh, Mag Turney. Joke. I am not Mag Turney! <laughs> throw a chair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, I... Um, the, the nerd, I, I guess I, I kind of cause, I don't consider it cosplay, I, I, because my crawl costume was a bad Halloween costume I made that yeah. I love, and then the, subtle difference between dressing up for Halloween and dressing up for mm-hmm. cosplay. If you dress up for Halloween, it's a costume, any other day it's cosplay. Yep. Um, and then what the fuck, not And the then, uh, the, the, the other two Halloween costumes that Wait, I made yeah. that I'm super proud of are the Goblin King, um, maybe I can get you a picture for that, from, uh, the Labyrinth, and, uh, I, I did a Mega Man costume from scratch, which was really nice. cool. That's pretty cool. Pretty nerdy. Yeah. I think the nerdiest thing was from like ages five to twelve because I wore pants. I always wore my jeans above my belly button. Always wore long sleeves with turtlenecks and always tucked in. I wore boots. You were Steve Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I was, and I always wore sweatshirts. This was just a choice. This was just a life choice. I thought it was real cool. <laughs> and anybody probably else? was no, now. no. My if parents you, were like, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, <laughs> like, "Yeah, I don't get it. You let it, me dress myself." Do you have friends? <laughs> you don't. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's awesome. Holy crap! I would always, I was always dressed. My parents would like pick out my clothes. Aww. Um And it was. Uh, oh really? Yeah. Up until I was like seventeen. What? Really? Yeah. No, not really. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, they good. made them too. They made them. Yeah. That, was good. that was good. Okay, moving on. That's some pretty nerdy stuff. We're all pretty pretty big yeah. nerds. Yeah, yeah. It presupposes that you know what nerd is, and if you, in order to answer that question, you have to kind of go with like you said, the stock nerdy. Well, that answer. is stock nerdy. I mean, I could go a, a different route. One of the actual nerdiest things that I ever did is uh, I was super into baseball growing up, and one of the things that I would do is 
go out into my yard when I just didn't want to be in the house. And then we had a, a pine cone tree. Mm -hmm. We dropped these tiny little pine cones in our house. And we had a like a two-story house, but with a very tall roof. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I would go to the side of the house. Yeah, oh, yeah, houses. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I would, uh, I would make up... Uh, uh, batting orders in my mind, nine batters, a Love full it. baseball team. Uh, you, kids that I played um, All Stars with growing up, I would be like, okay, well, Corey Jackson's fourth because he's clean up, and I'm I'm obviously the leadoff batter, and I'd, I'd make this lineup, and then I would do a full nine inning game, throwing the pine cone up and hitting it by myself. If it went over the roof, it was a home run. <laughs> Top third, triple. Uh, double, single, if it was an out, if it hit the uh, the actual part of the house. Did you get mad if you couldn't do yeah, it? Yeah, I got mad. Yes, and I would keep stats nerd rage. in my mind the whole time. I'd just be out there for three hours doing you baseball nerdy things. You rage quitted before rage quitting was a thing? <laughs> yeah. You had a term? That's uh, adorable. I think that's the nerd, like, it's adorable that mm -hmm. I was also 18. And I would do oh. this, like, I did it for years. I'd come Twist. home from college Twist and I would just do it. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, so Super funny. nerdy, but it's a, different, <laughs> it's a different realm of nerdy. It's numbers nerdy, yeah. it's sports nerdy. Yeah. Uh, fantasy football is D&D &D for people. People that want to do play with athletes. That's all it is. Yeah, it's all it is. Totally. It's, ma it's yeah. a magic card game with people that can run and jump. You and you get mixed. Yeah, you're it's right. a different level of nerd dump. Okay, um, and I also love it now. It's so much fun. Uh, oh, whoa, wee whoa, uh, says what combination do you love that other people would find? What food combination do you love that other people would find disgusting? For example, I love pizza rolls with lemon pepper. How did you find that out? That sounds actually delicious. What lemon. situation were you in where you were like? This could go on pizza rolls. <laughs> it actually does sound kind of good. I do grilled cheese and ketchup. Yeah. That's a thing, That's though. It's like tomato soup, though. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, I don't feel bad so about it. My all. daughter yeah. does uh, ketchup and everything. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Everything. Yeah, I agree. That's good. Oh, She's good. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. What? Everything. People who are like ketchup fanatics disgust me. Not your daughter, because she's your daughter. But if she disgusts she, me. If she it's walks gross. out with a bunch of ketchup, that, uh, bleh, that on course, everything. People, you love it on everything. Oh, like, yeah. you, leave it, you leave the plate in the sink and then you forget about it. And it's like, the worst smell ever. Ketchup, it's my yeah, worst. It comes off in clunks, but yeah. it comes out and ooze. It's just horrible. You ever tried to eat plain ketchup? Just, just like yeah. That. No, never. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ketchup, I, I polarize more than any other condiment. If ketchup touches things that I don't want it to touch, I freak out. This is how uh, I will know your level of ketchup dumbness mm -hmm. loving. Um, I had a friend whose uncle was just like that, had ketchup on everything. I had a friend who... But he took it to an extreme. Hey, we're trying to make an, a video. I almost said news video. <laughs> But, uh, Steve's here. Oh, bye, Steve. Yeah. Remember, when <laughs> remember when you said he was a dick? Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Hey, Just supported it. God. He can really sing, though. He's like an angel voice. Really good outfit, too. He's actually really good at dressing. He's so this guy, uh, my friend, he had an uncle who was you. He had put ketchup on everything. Mm -hmm. But I knew he was a freak because he put it on the one thing that ketchup shouldn't go on. What's the one thing that ketchup shouldn't go on? Other uh, ketchup. Okay. <laughs> what is it? Candy? Close. Ice cream. He put ketchup Ew, on ice okay, cream. No, no, no. No, he's wrong. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, wrong. so you're not a total freak. No. That's good. Uh, no. Do you have any weird food combinations? That's not, that might, he may have had something wrong in his brain. <laughs> That's not like a weird <laughs> preference thing. Uh, what other food combinations do I do? I'll do, I'll dip my Oreos in, uh, in whiskey. Um, no, not really. <laughs> Sound like a badass for a second. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an old timey, yeah. like ah. you're like in a commercial for Oreos where you're like they're doing the okay, who gets the uh, frosting side and who gets the non-frosting side? So you're just like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> who gets the drink? Like My the wish came true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. What else do I eat? That's that's super. Do weird. you guys do? This is my weirdest thing that I can think of off the top of my brain right now, and I don't think it's weird. I think uh, you take a, a good sandwich. A, a deli meat and cheese sandwich. You take your bag of Doritos and you put your Doritos on it. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. So good. French no, fries on the burger. I got, no, yeah, I've done, I mean, I put chips on my sandwich, but I do have one which I don't understand why people freak out when I say it. It's just like you get orange juice, you get a chocolate chip cookie, and you dip it in the orange what? juice. What? Sam! <laughs> Sam, are you dude. serious? It's delicious. People no. freak I don't out. <laughs> no. <laughs> people freak out. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, that's disgusting. You should be judged for yeah, that. Yeah, what is wrong with you, dude? It's delicious. That's the thing you eat before you, you know how it? food works. That's what you do when you're a kid, where you're like, I like orange juice, I like cookie, I put them together. But yeah, it's like work. when you find out at a very early age that you don't put orange juice on your cereal. No. Oh. That's, Even that's different. Is it? That's different. That's different. <laughs> that's completely different. Because one is a sugary treat yeah. and the other is a sugar. Oh, wait. <laughs> Just uh, try it. Just, okay, just try. I will for you. Let's try because you're just so damn adorable. Oh, and how are we doing on time? Should we do another? Should we, should we do one or should we get Let's out? Give him one more. Give him one more. We're gonna yeah. give you guys one more. This you is uh, courtesy of Owen, everybody. Thanks, Owen. 
So Greg Schmidt uh, at Top Hat Duck on Twitter, if you want to follow him, go follow him, man. Yeah, girl. We never say that. Yeah, follow yeah. these people. Uh, follow do them. you still like books, or do you read on a tablet slash mobile device? I have Cable an answer talk. to this. Do you guys have I'm an ready. answer to this? I do have an answer. For I right love now, and I can't wait to share it. And here yours. Books and prefer books. And uh, yeah, Mike. That being said, up? I have never owned a tablet, but I've like tried reading on some, and I, I can do it. But I love the feeling of a book. Yeah. I love the smell of a book. And I figured out why, more than anything, I enjoy reading a book more than a tablet, is that you you get to see the progress yeah. of your journey Which as you Which is what go. it's all about. You, you get to see like, that okay. you're getting close to the end. If you don't like the book, you know that what you have to power through to, to finish <laughs> it. When you do love a book, you're like, you, you know, it's like that Breaking Bad feeling. You're about to watch yep. the last episode, and you're like, I don't want to turn this mm. page. It's it's about the journey and the Plus, and the it can let you like know how you feel as a human when you're mm. like, I've been reading this book and forever. When and you I'm have really 500 I'm a books. Slow reader. Yeah, and when you have 500 books that you own and you have them on a bookshelf, you can pretend like you're smart. There's nothing not classy about that. I know it can be perceived as douchey because it can be, but that doesn't mean it's not classy. Half of being classy is being douchey. Well, it depends on the books. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, if it's highlights or whatever. (laughs) Just a lot of goosebumps. Check out my collection of Sports Illustrated (laughs) swimsuit issue. Uh, I got the Left Behind series, the kids version. Uh, The end times are coming. Left Behind for (laughs) Dummies, that would be amazing. (laughs) The apocalypse Uh, and what you need to know. Have you ever tried to read a book on a tablet? I mean, have you ever finished a book on a tablet? No. I've never been able to finish it. I got Fault in Our Stars. I got it on on my iPad, and I started reading. I got like a chapter in. I'm like, nope. That's that's a good tell because that book is amazing. Yeah, and I went and bought the book. Finished it in like a few days. Yeah, like that was worth it. You read on a tablet, right? No, I don't have a tablet. I don't own a tablet, but I would. I I have read on my phone, which is really bad. Like, there's like some. Hey, come say hi, Steve. Come say hi. Steve, come on over here. Steve. Oh, oh my God! God. Oh. Can you believe you just did that? <laughs> what you don't know what to expect when you come over here to <laughs> table talk. Oh man! Oh, oh, man. Talk around the oh, table man. based on topics and hey, contribute. Guys, here's the bar, Jeez. and here is us over the bar. Um, so, yeah, so back to books. Uh, I would say that, no, I definitely prefer the, the, the feel of, of a book itself. Yeah, that being said, books clutter my apartment right now, and I'm so pissed off about it, and I want to burn all oh, of I've them. Oh, I've got so many books. I'm so classy. Uh, I, I got so many shelves of ma- mahogany shelves full of books. <laughs> I yeah. got shelves on shelves on shelves. I got shelves on shelves on shelves. <laughs> Uh, multiple no copies. books, bunch of shelves. Yes. <laughs> Just so many. I keep my books in a pile because I don't want to be douche. I got this convenient know. tablet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can hold like eight thousand books. Rendered my shelves irrelevant. I like when uh, I like when they advertise the tablets and like you can hold eighty thousand books on this. I'm like, who? <laughs> no, like that's not a problem. People aren't walking around. Like, I, well, I wish I had a place to have more books. People just try to fill it. So, um, that's our thoughts on yeah. books. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching Table Talk. Uh, thanks to Owen, thanks to Lee, thanks to Evil Steve, Sam, Elliot, myself. Guys, we did it. We thanks to you. Oh, did we, we did finish it. the bowl? Yeah. There's no more questions. Uh-oh. So this has been the last Table Talk. We Thank have you to. I think we have so. to finish it. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to submit some questions, the Twitters, the Reddits, all that stuff, we'll, we'll find you there. Um, thanks for taking this journey with us. It's been fun. We, uh, we like you being here. Thank you guys. Giving mm-hmm. us an excuse to talk about some you fun some stuff. Hands, I do. Friend. I just have sweaty hands. Yeah, those are, they're like cold <laughs> and hot at the same time. Yeah. Uh, like moist and dry. Yeah. yeah. Ladies. You, uh, <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> if you, have, you have wet wipes for hands. <laughs> disinfect or just infect. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs>